this here is where he has dedicated his life, the culmination of his work. My father has been his chef for over 30 years, and he is determined to pursue his father's back. So today, I'd like to show you guys something you wouldn't be able to see, the behind the scene and the history of one of the sushi restaurants in Tokyo that have opened for nearly 100 years. I hope you enjoy it. Good morning everyone, it's Messiah. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Now I'm in front of my house and as you can see the background, that is my father's sushi restaurant. And now it's exactly 6.30, we are heading to Toast Market, which is the biggest fish market in the entire world. So I'm super excited and hopefully I can give you a little bit of a glimpse of how it looks like and the conversation between my dad and his vendors. Now, this is my father is right here and uh, we're gonna ride a devil on a motorcycle. So let's go. It's so interesting to see that like, even though it's early morning, this, this particular area is running at full capacity. And, and my dad has a, some reliable vendors, so we are going to one of those, one of those vendors. Uh, <laughs> Just for my experience, we are going to the, the gigantic freezer that is inside temperature is like minus 60 degrees. So basically that is a dead zone. So you can store your products you bought in the freezer for a while by uh, asking your vendors to do that. But you, you're not allowed to do it by yourself from a safety point of view. But my father asked his acquaintance if I can get inside along with him when uh, he brings one of my father's purchase and uh, I got a permission. All right, so this is the freezer that I'm talking about. And this rope uh, plays a role in opening and closing the door. So there's another door right after the first door. And this door never opens up before the first door is closed completely. So that freezer can keep minus 6 degrees Celsius inside. Minus 60 degrees. はい。ああ、そうなんですね。この中が全部ですか。はあ。もう長いものだと何年ぐらい保管されてるんですか。そんなに古いものはないですけど。ああ、そうですか。はい。すごい。もう、どこに何があるかっていうのはもう完全に把握されてるんですか。はあ。あ、そうですか。そんな長い時間だとどのくらいいられることありますか。やっぱまあ、20分くらいですかね。手が持たないんで、手が一番手が持てば結構いられるんですけど、手が持たなくなっちゃう。ああ、そうですか。でも今軍手に2つされてますよ
food makes sushi rather than the taste of sushi. So on every phase of altering the generation, the successes tend to lose their predecessors' regular customers, and they must build their own regular customers once they take over it. But that also means you can have new regular customers who prefer your style of sushi, the taste, and even the interior atmosphere presented by you. But in spite of the, all the changes due to the generation shift, there's a certain things that have never been changed since its inception. And that is never missing to go to the fish market and having communication with the vendors that you're believing in. あの人たちがね、いいものを分けてくれるから、いい寿司だねを提供できるわけでさ。やっぱりほら人間関係だからさ、合わない、あるじゃない。だからよっぽどその今そのすごいその仕入れの一番の人間と。<laughs> so here's some reliable vendors for each kind of fish, such as tuna, white fish, shellfish, and Congo eels and whatnot. And he's remaining on good terms with each vendor, sometimes here to help them by buying fish that they need to sell out soon. But the other day, they would keep the best and freshest part of fish for the day for him in return. He built this give and take relationship like that in the course of time. But sure, it's not easy. It requires compatibility in both effort and support, and even certain period of time. When his father was the owner of the restaurant, he couldn't necessarily get the greatest treatment by his vendors because he was quite a reticent and kind of forced his vendors to meet his request one-sidedly all the time. And my father watched and learned behind him at the time as a uh, good example of what not to do. And those experiences shaped his personality as a chef as he grew up and created who he is. He visits the fish market every day but Wednesday, his restaurant is closed on Wednesday. He can get a freshest catch of the day so that he can serve his customer the best quality of sushi. There's no exception. It takes discipline to wake up and get things done at the market in the very early morning. And after coming back home, prep all the fish for the opening of the restaurant at 12 o'clock. What a surprising thing is that he does all of these things by himself. Approximately 25 to 30 customers come in his restaurant per day before the pandemic hits. Sometimes up to 20 customers visit in the banquet room at once, which is the second floor. And uh, the total number of customers used to be somewhere in between 40 to 50 just for one day. So he needed to make sushi as quick and yet beautiful as possible. そういう人で60本、7、80本は負けるんだよ。遅くて60本なんだよ。で、それは完璧は完璧だけだから巻きやすいんだけど、今度鉄火巻きになると、わさびを乗せなくちゃいけない。だからもうちょっと時間かかる
種類の品物というのを全部差し入れて、果物を入れてっていう感じなので。ありがとうございました。